What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and some more Flames of War, Late War stuff here for the Germans. So, um, can't really play Late War almost without having some of the Pumas, but also the other variants that we build here. So just a, a fun, fun vehicle for the Germans. And um, in-game just uh, does solid work, uh, if nothing else. In this set, this is also the new all plastics here, so we get the Waffen SS cards. And as we can see on the back of this bad boy, so love the fact again just the possibility here with the new plastic kit really of just building the different variants and more or less being able to just, uh, as, as long as you're gluing things together properly or not gluing together uh, in certain aspects you can get a little bit more mileage out of this just depending on you know which uh variants you really do plan on running but you know if you do plan on sticking with just one really you know just build what you want but um it should be possible to really swap things out here if if the build allows for it but anyway so we get the puma five centimeter um we, we can also build the sd kfc 234 with a two centimeter gun and a machine gun as well uh, puma does have a machine gun as well or we go with the 234 that has the short uh, the stub 7.5 centimeter for a little bit of light artillery support there so all in all fun fun kit uh, everybody loves the pumas of course and just uh, again fun fun unit for the germans here in late war so we're going to get this open for you guys sorted out and then we'll be right back all right guys we got everything open and here's what you get so basically you get four of these sprues and then some of our smaller components uh which we uh kind of get to see in you know a lot of other kits so the kind of standard uh more or less uh, uh commander or um sort of uh, driver commander uh sprue here that you know for your platoon leaders and all that stuff and again got some different options there we get our little decal sheet of course so kind of put that right side up there so we actually get even panzer layer on there second panzer division so lots of goodies there on such a small little uh, package some crew for the 7.5 centimeter gun so um you have those and then taking a look at the sprue so again basically it's one of those double sprues but lots going on here right because we need to be able to build three variants out of this so again all in plastic now so we see our different guns that looks like it's going to be the two centimeter right there there's the 7.5 got some mgs and stuff as well upper hull here we'll take a look at everything on the other side as well there's the five centimeter stowage and everything else and then interestingly i think even though it's not one of the variants in the box that um because this is definitely this is the five centimeter for the turret here but that looks like it's uh pack 40 for the um like the pack uh, wagon um so the basically the uh at gun on the um a, a rad uh, or a wheel uh, platform here so i shouldn't say a rad because that's more mid-war of course but kind of grossly simplifying here but again, here is the back side. So again, we got upper hull, lower hull. So good stuff overall here. And we're trying to get like a little side angle here of the lower hull. So it should be pretty simple just to get these up and running and assembled. So we have that. Then let's take a look at the cards that we get. So we get five in this set. So two of them are the Puma Scout Troop cards. So this will give you the stats for the puma but also the two centimeter variant here so um these guys yeah it's just the normal uh, wehrmacht one we'll get to the ss card in a minute but hit on fours reluctant five for motivation scout counter attack of six remount on a four vets three up um skills and uh, scout assault four up there a little bit of armor not much for these right um but for being a scout vehicle decent enough right three to the front so can take some lighter shots and hopefully um, weather the the damage there with some good rolls. Side is a, at least a one, so again better than you know absolutely nothing. But top is zero on these, of course. So artillery will get you. Uh, tactical terrain cross and road dash there. So uh, we have all of our speeds. So uh, again, wonderful road dash of 36 there crosses on a four up. 
Um, so the five centimeter gun uh, definitely lets us go out the furthest here, 28 inches. Uh, rate of fire two and one, uh, halted moving. AT of nine. So again, we're not going to deal with most heavy things, uh, really much, much of anything heavy in the game. But these guys, and you know, with frontal shots, in a lot of cases, not going to be the greatest um, uh, shots to take. But certainly, if we can maneuver around to the sides and rear, and uh, then this suddenly becomes a very dangerous uh, uh, cat uh, as it's uh, doing its hunting, basically. So nine on the side. Uh, We'll deal with, you know, Shermans and other things just fine. Uh, firepower four up, so 50-50 there. Now the two centimeter basically sacrifices uh, quite a bit of range, drops down to 20, has a, a better uh, rate of fire, of course, three and two, uh, loses uh, a lot on the AT as well, still a five, so again, we can definitely tear up lighter vehicles and things like transports and stuff like that. And firepower does also drop, uh, unfortunately, down to five up, but we do gain self-defense AA, so that could be handy. And then, of course, the machine gun stats as normal there. So, and then taking a look at the back. So two Pumas uh, will cost us four, or if we want to run two of the two centimeters, drops down to three. And then again, these guys have scout, self-defense AA for the two centimeter, spearhead, and stormtroopers. So again, we get two of those cards card for the 7.5. So again, everything else is essentially the same, except we get to the gun stat, which uh, sits at 24, uh, same rate of fire as the five centimeter, and same AT, but we actually get a better firepower, drops to, or that drops, uh, bumps up to three, and uh, forward firing specifically though, right, obviously, not a turret, and then is uh, shooting heat rounds. So um, pretty cool stuff there, and um, not, not to imply from earlier when I said uh, you know, this is kind of like light artillery, but um, you know it's a, it, it uh, certainly still hits pretty pretty hard for uh, what it does. So um, would be nice if they had given it some smoke as well. But oh well, not sure if it actually had it historically or not. But anyway, uh, unit size on these is going to be a little different. So we can basically run either two or three. Um, three of them is at six points, and then two at four. Forward firing heat again. All that good stuff. So the interesting thing, though, as far as the kit is concerned, we bring these guys back in. We'll have to take a look at the uh, packaging again and uh, assembly diagram. But really, um, I think we get enough crew, basically, to properly fill out two of the vehicles. So the fact that we can build three for um, a platoon here is a little annoying because uh, then you wouldn't really have enough to properly show it um, on the vehicle. So, you know, if you really want the the proper crew standing in the vehicle doing their thing, you'd essentially have to buy a second box. But so not sure if that is on purpose, but I guess you could just go with maybe two in each vehicle if you want to go that route. Um, or, you know, there's plenty of people 3D printing stuff. So anyway, um, we get to the SS Puma. So, um, and this is probably where we're going to be running ours uh, when we're, as we're building our force here. So looking initially at least at an SS force. So uh, fearless um, scout counterattack is actually bumped up from the other one to five up. These guys are trained, um, aggressive though, hit on threes and otherwise more or less the same stats. So if we bring that in for comparison, versus the uh, Wehrmacht here. So again, easier to hit these guys uh, on the SS. And then if we compare, so motivation, much better, of course. Fearless 3-up is a hell of a lot better than Reluctant 5. Better counterattack, same last stand. Um, that being said, skill, the Wehrmacht are considered vets here and um, have the uh, assault of 4-up. These guys are just trained. And then on the back, Basically everything's the same. Oops, try and get that all in picture for you guys here, right? So two Pumas at four points, and again, Scout, Spearhead, and Stormtroopers. So there you have it. Again, overall really fun kit. We'll have to play with the list somewhat and see just how many of these we want to run in our SS force or you know in a, in a Wehrmacht force for uh, late war but overall just uh, probably one of my favorite vehicles just in general just looks cool um, probably best uh, or at least again favorite armored car of World War II um, would have been interesting to see if they would have had more impacts because I, I don't think there were that many made um, I think it was in the low hundreds actually for that variant and they weren't produced for all that long either but 
definitely a fun thing to run in the game here. So let us know in the comments, guys, if you run Pumas or any of the other variants that we've seen in the box here in what quantity and how those tend to fare in your list. So hit us up in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't, guys. And we'll have more late war goodies coming for you guys very soon. Take care.